As many of you probably already saw this week, this exhibit of early man come to life came up with an idea that we should have a national divorce. It's the pussy ass bitch way of calling for a civil war. If you have a crazy idea that you want to get out there in a safe space, you want to just float it out there like a turd, the best place to do it is on Charlie Smallface's podcast. What is a national What does a national divorce look like in your and in your estimation? Well, a national divorce is not a civil war. It's actually separating by red states and blue states. A cooling off period to say people should not be able to vote for a couple years if they move from a blue state to a red state? It would be something I would highly recommend. See, big brain Marjorie Taylor Greene actually comes from a blue state now. So what are the rules? You know, can she not vote in the House for five years? Is that how it's going to work? Come on, man. Write some of this stuff down. Let me play caveman whisperer for a second. All right, let's say we all decide to have a national divorce. I need some things right out the gate. First off, we gotta swap Utah and Georgia. Not you, Geico. You stay down there in the South. As someone who grew up in Utah, I'll tell you what. Utah belongs right next door to Alabama. Mormonism is basically Southern baptism without any of the showmanship or flair. Mormonism is kind of like the manis of cults, or the green jello, if you will. Next up, I propose a year where anyone in a red state can move to a blue state and vice versa. Women, LGBTQ, and minorities, if you decide to stick it out with this guy, with Mr. DeSantis, good luck, because we're taking all the, all the tax dollars we save and we're building a wall. And I'll get to the extra tax dollars that we're all going to be taking in in a minute. Now the red states are gonna be against this because there's no denying that if given the option and this was happening, there would be a mass exodus from red states. I mean, Chuds couldn't even hold on to their culture warrior meme king Elon for more than two years. He spent two years in Texas and was like, screw this, I'm going back to commie California. And don't worry, you guys can keep Joe Rogan, the current Joe Rogan. I'll just listen to the, the classics. Ready for this? My friend, his wife is a school teacher. And she works at a school that had to install a litter box in the girls' room because there is a girl who's a furry oh who identifies goodness. as an animal. Oh, Marjorie, before you leave, make sure you grab your boyfriend with you, all right? We don't want him sticking around. <laughs> so now that the wall is up, the United Southern States of Marjorie Taylor Greene can start footing the bill for all the red state welfare that I've been on the hook for for pretty much my entire life. For every dollar these states put in, they take that much more out of the federal government. And I hate to tell you this, but Mississippi isn't spending that on education. Nah, they're giving it to Brett Favre. And the United Southern States of Marjorie Taylor Greene can say goodbye to the two states that put in almost as many federal dollars as all the other ones combined. I'm good with this. This is actually this is actually starting to sound pretty good. Bring me on your show, Charlie, little face. I'll agree with you. I'll agree with you on this one. Red states can go ahead and replace the green I give you with this green. Sounds like a good deal to me. Now let's talk about how two thirds of all produce comes from California. Now this is probably moot to you manly chuds out there, right? Because you can eat your steak with a side of bacon every day. Who needs veggies? Who needs veggies, soy boy? And I'm sure all the doctors will stay back in these bankrupt red states, right? They'll stay back where a miscarriage can send them to jail for life if it's misconstrued as abortion. Sounds like a really conducive environment for doctors. I'm sure, I'm sure they'll all stay behind to treat your heart disease and all your diabetes. Who am I kidding? You'd be lucky if you could snag, snag Dr. Phil or Dr. Oz. Wife wants some vegetables for crudite. Never mind, Mr. Crudite, Dr. Crudite. He's not gonna slum it down there. Now, someone like me who loves to smoke ribs, smoke up brisket, you know, cook up a steak, don't worry about me, I'll be fine. Got plenty of beef out here. The only difference is, you know, I get to have a little asparagus on the side. Maybe some Brussels sprouts. And because the new Southern United Marjorie Taylor States of America, or whatever you're gonna name it, will be deemed immediately radical and hostile, these people, we're gonna have to put some serious tariffs on them. 
they have to pay a pretty high markup on anything we ship to them. And sorry, but we don't accept those green dollars. You're gonna have to do better. The biggest corporations in this country are made up of LGBTQ, minorities, and women. So good luck. Good luck retaining any headquarters in your red states. You guys can probably keep the my pillow guy. We got attacked by China and they flipped this election and down tickets to the tune of tens of millions. This is crazy. And all you have to do is come to the symposium. And to the farmers in these red states who for the past 10, 15 years have cared more about birth certificates, Hunter Biden's laptop or drag shows, don't you worry. Your subsidies are gonna dry up faster than Melania Trump on Valentine's Day. There's gonna be no more money from you, from us. And if you think Republicans, these Republicans, are going to support your right to repair, your John Deere's and all your other equipment, well, I have a my pillow to sell you because you're fucking dreaming. When Texas immediately receives a disputed border from Mexico, that's not our problem anymore. I mean, remember the Alamo, right, guys? Wait, Texas lost at the Alamo? Hold on a second. So you're a real man here. The real man in Texas is Ted Cruz, and your battle cry is a fight. Well, you guys got your asses kicked? Whew. Hey, Elon, come back. <laughs> Everything's bigger in Texas, except maybe their brains and their balls, I guess. Now, we've been talking about Texas gold blue for 20 years. Is it ever going to happen? I don't know. But before we put the wall up, we're going to give Texas one chance. You can come with us this one time, Texas, and you'll be part of it. Because I do love country music, not the new shit, not the, the baseball cap guys, the old guys. And I love Texas barbecue. One chance, hop in. Texas, Bubby. President DeSantis is not going to have a federal slush fund to help you with your culture war propaganda anymore. You're going to suddenly be on the hook for his human trafficking stunts that he uses federal dollars for currently. You're going to be on the hook when he doesn't plan for the hurricanes that come every single year and then begs you for money. That's all you now. You see, Florida, like the representatives they send to Congress, doesn't really plan ahead for any of the consequences of their actions. You see, Florida uses daddy's money, our money, to fund their culture war. And, you know, whether it's attacking the First Amendment or human trafficking or going after women, whatever it is, they use federal dollars for that. And then when a hurricane comes, Daddy, Daddy, we need more money. We're underwater. Just like Matt Gates in his eighth DUI. Daddy, it happened again. Number eight, help me out. Me and Heather got pulled over after prom. Prom? You're 26 years old, Matt. What the fuck? Honestly, if you ever need to know what is the latest thing Republicans are freaking out about in their culture war, just tune into Florida. Just tune into Mr. Harvard, Mr. Yale, Mr. Ronnie. He's like, a, he's like a weather lady for culture wars. The dude's people skills are lacking, to say the least. You do not have to wear those masks. I mean, please take them off. <laughs> Honestly, it's not doing anything, and we got to stop with this focus theater. So if you want to wear it, fine, but this is, a, this is ridiculous. Yeah, I, you know, honestly, this has been, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, this has been handled ad nauseum. I, you, I know you can talk about the, these officials. Ask them about it. That's fine. Go ahead, ma'am. Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, enough about that. That'll be your problem now. Back to Texas. Florida will now be your problem. You sure you don't want to come with us? We got room. We got room in the back. Also, Texas, like the abused single mom you are, we'll be the good guy boyfriends. You know, we'll turn on your power in the winter. We'll keep the heat on. Don't worry. Not only that, the private power companies that have gouged you for years will finally stand trial for price fixing and probably racketeering. Because right now, this guy isn't standing up to anybody. <laughs> I meant that figuratively. I, I mean, obviously, literally, he's not standing up to anybody, but <laughs> I did mean it figuratively. Devil's advocate, caveman whisper, this might actually be a good idea. Okay, well, first, a law prohibiting American citizens who've not committed a crime from voting would probably not withstand legal scrutiny. And second, how would this, like a national divorce, be good for conservatism? New York Lori, she doesn't want to move to Alabama. I mean, none of them do. They do the respectful thing. They mock you in private. They mock their viewers in private. They're good people. They're good people, Lori. They're just dumb. But this is good, right? Something great has happened to the Republican Party. 
I mean, back when I was a kid, they were very careful, very careful with their dog whistles. They would say, urban people are moving into our neighborhood. They would refer to the Jewish people as globalists. Anyone who committed a crime a shade darker than John Boner's ball sack was called a thug. And it was all a game to keep these, you know, Goldwater, Reagan, right-wing radicals engaged in the party and very much the new base. But then this guy showed up, and as hard as he tried, he just couldn't whistle. And right proud of the boys, stand back and stand by. And now you have actual radical right-wing fascists winning by almost double. And I mean, you could say, oh, that's just South Georgia, right? But that's too dismissive. For an adult to vote for someone who thinks there's Jewish space lasers, for someone who aided and abetted the January 6th insurrectionists, I don't care how low info you are. For an adult to go in there and pick that person is just uh, whew, apocalyptic. I don't know. Didn't you also say around that period that you had been a follower of QAnon conspiracy theories and you had rethought this and you were no longer uh, influenced by the group? Well, like a lot of people today, I had easily gotten sucked into some things I'd seen on the internet. Kevin McCarthy lets her sit in as the leader when he's not there. Think about it. Just think about it for a sec. There was a time when the Republican Party tried to label us snowflakes. Now every single election, they're stomping their feet, they're crying. Hell, every day they have a new group of people that are triggering them, that they gotta go after because they're victims of some culture, right? And when all this fails, when all this fails, what do you get? I'm picking up my ball, and I'm going home. Starting a new country. <laughs> Good luck. Get the chud. Don't try to pass any of those green, those green bucks to me. Well, like a lot of people today, I had easily gotten sucked into some things I'd seen on the internet.